One New York restaurant owner thought the pandemic could well, ruin his business. Instead, he is on a mission now to keep people from going hungry. And today is Force for Good, Mel. It all started with making sure kids had enough food, but now it's evolved into something much bigger. Good morning. Good morning, you two. Much bigger. So I love the name, too. It's called the Chickadee Human Eatery, and they started a pay it for it post-it wall. So take a look at what it looks like. People come in and they pay for something in advance, and then they put a post-it on the wall. In fact, looking at this video, they just put straight cash up there. So someone who needs food and cannot afford it, there it is. They come, they grab a post-it, and they're able to use that post-it as payment. So you see $20, $100, $300. Thanks, Doug. And then the owner says things just really took off. In just two weeks, the wall generated $5,000. There's even a section on the wall specifically for first responders. He says all of this generosity is just astounding. Gentleman came in. I thought he was looking for a free meal. He had a breakfast and then gave me $100. I see people starting to appreciate what we had before and just want to help anyone they, that they can. Sounds emotional, doesn't he? And you understand that. So businesses have also pitched in as well. Some are helping him offer $5 dinners for people. They have donated bread and pizza to help make sure that his stock is full. And he says that he's gonna keep making food, keep serving people until the city forces him to close or he mentions he might just pass out from exhaustion because <laughs> he's I'm, working so hard. I'm but, just amazed you know, by how your creative heart is people are. Yeah. I know, it just makes it easier. And you're right, we're seeing a lot of creativity. Yeah, it was amazing. He says, I thought the guy was coming in for a, a free meal and he handed him $100. Wow. Yeah. Thanks, Mel. Put the smile on our face this morning. We need it. Yeah.